Hi guys, this is Faithland with Elegance for Less. Thank you so much for joining me today. I am going to do for you this candle holder. Like I said, I'm gonna do a series of candle holders for you. So I hope that you are enjoying the candle holders that I've been creating for you so far. This candle holder, you are going to need two of these rounded uh, foam. Now I did haul mine from Walmart floral foam. You'll need this marble contact paper. It has the adhesive on it, but instead of the black and white, I decided to go with the gold and white today. So you will need some of that, and that came from Walmart. It was $5.99. You'll need your scissors. You'll need glue gun and glue sticks. You will need two lids. You can use your glass lids, which I've shared with you guys that I've hauled from Bed Bath & Beyond. And you will need some gems. I'm going with this gems that I hauled from Hobby Lobby for $7.99 and 50% off. So you can use whatever gem you want. I'm going to go with this one from Hobby Lobby. Now, I did pick up these little potty favors from the Dollar Tree. And they look like this. I will need two of them. And I guess you just look through the little hole. So we're going to work with these two today. Then you're going to need your razor or this little gadget actually you plug in and it gets very hot and you use it to um, cut any plastic. Now, if you don't have a gadget like this, you can use a regular peering knife and warm it onto your stove. You are going to need a marker. The reason why, you will need to cut out the circle of the foam. So I went ahead and cut out all my uh, pieces that I will, be, will need to attach to my foam, and that's from this large piece of contact paper. So we're gonna jump right in. Let's get the scissors out of the way. And we're going to begin by separating So I went ahead and add the gems around the base and the top and 
I wanted to do this other one with you guys. So I'm just basically adding the glue to the marble paper. gems around the rim of the lid just to tie in with both sides. I put some around the neck of where I want to have the lid to go just so everything will tie in together. Now I'm going to lay a generous amount of glue down and add my gem. absolutely love the way that they look I hope you do as well if you do give me a thumbs up and please share the videos with your family and friends if you're not a subscriber I hope that you'll go ahead and hit the subscribe button and become a part of our family thank you so much for watching and I will see you on my next DIY